How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today's video is going to be another special top 10 video. Well, these cars are actually in no particular order, it's not actually a top 10, it's just 10 cars, so keep that in mind. But in the past we've done a video on 10 surprisingly fast cars. We've done a video on the 10 highest horsepower cars, so the literal number, the highest horsepower. And today we're going to do the 10 cheapest fast cars. So if you've only just got the game for Christmas, for example, and you want some really, really fast cars, but you don't have much money, this video will be for you because we're going to be showcasing 10 cars which are super cheap but are incredibly fast once fully upgraded or even stock maybe. So if you want a really small budget, but you just want a really fast car in general, then have a look at this video. Just a quick note guys before I get into it, for all 10 of these cars that you're going to see, I'm going to upload the fastest tune possible for that car. So if any of you want any of the tunes shown in today's video, add my gamer tag, as you can see it's up at the top left hand corner, JKXVXYT. And then when you go to one of the cars shown, go to load tune, and I should be one of the first ones on the list. All of my tunes will be called super fast. So look for my tune called super fast on any of these 10 cars, and you'll be able to have one of the fastest tunes. So in no particular order, let's get into 10 super cheap, super fast cars in Forza Horizon 4. The 10th car on the list is a little bit of a different one, but I want to get it out of the way to start with. It is the Honda Civic RS, the really old one, which is actually a DLC car. Now, some people will be able to get this car for free because, as I said, it's a DLC car. However, if you don't, you'll have to buy it and etc. etc. But the, technically, the price of this car is free. And with the second to last engine swap, it's not the Turbo Rally, the big V8, this car will pull over a thousand horsepower. And let me just give you a quick glimpse of the acceleration of this thing. It is unbelievable. It is, it, that was pulling at over 220 miles an hour. Now, this is one of the only DLC cars on this list. All of the other ones anybody can actually buy, but technically, this is a free car which is unbelievably fast, fully upgraded. This will kill supercars and the handling as well isn't that bad. So you also get decent handling with it as well. Coming in at the number 9 spot on the list is the Lotus Elise GT1. I think that's how you say it, I might be getting that wrong. But this car is actually a barn find car, so technically you can get it for free. However, if you want to buy it off the auction house, there's plenty on there, you'll have to spend about 100 to 300,000 credits. So worst case scenario, this will cost you 300,000 credits and it is insanely quick. Fully upgraded with even the default stock engine, it will pull just under 1,100 horsepower. And the handling is also impressive well. So this is another car which you also get decent handling as well, instead of it just being a straight line drag car. So at number nine spot, the Lotus Elise GT1. And of course I've got a crash. The eighth one on the list is quite a bizarre one, but it's one that people really look over more than they should. It's the BMW i Setter. This car is very cheap, it will only cost you 45,000 credits. However, when you fully upgrade it, you will have just under 700 horsepower in a car this small, which means the acceleration is amazing. Now, you're probably not going to win any races with it, but it's the type of car, because it's so cheap for 45,000 credits, you may as well buy it, fully upgrade it for a bit more credits and just have fun because it's still really fast. May not be very reliable, but it's still really fast. So number eight on the list is a really stupidly fast BMW i Setter for 50,000 credits. Next one on the list is the Aerial Atom V8. 
This aerial atom off the auto show will cost 108,000 credits, but no one actually realises how fast this car can actually be. You do need to pop the engine swap in it to get the full maximum power out of it, which fully upgraded is just over a thousand horsepower. But along with that, you get crazy speed and pretty decent handling as well. And as I said, the car only costs 100,000 credits. Obviously, you need to leave some more credits for the engine swap and the building parts. But for another cheap 100,000 credit car, this thing is rapid on the road. So I highly recommend to get this car as well. Once again, the tune is on the market if you want to use the one I'm using. Next one on the list is the AMC Gremlin X. This is one of the cheapest cars on the list for only 35,000 credits off the auto show. Probably even cheaper off the auction house. This thing will pull over 1,100 horsepower fully upgraded and this has insane acceleration. It's a bit wobbly as you can see, but if you're all about the straight line acceleration, this has some power to it. You need to put the V10 engine swap into it. It's quite a strange sounding car, but who cares? You're only paying 35,000 credits for the car. So this one is the AMC Gremlin for 35,000 credits. V10 engine swap with over 1,100 horsepower. Super cheap. Next one on the list is the Porsche 959 Rally. Now this is the last DLC car on this list. Only two of them on the list are DLC cars and this is the last one. So you'll need the car pass or you'll need to purchase it separately. But I would say it's worth it because fully upgraded, this thing is also a monster on the road as well as off-road as well. You'll get over 1,400 horsepower in this thing, which is a lot more than people would expect. And this thing's really good for danger zones, really good for speed traps, it's really good for everything really. And it's practically free from the car pass. But yeah, this one on the list, 1,400 horsepower, free from the car pass, an all good round, stupidly fast car. Next on the list is the Dodge Dart. I'm sure all of you know that this used to be the fastest drag car back on Forza Horizon 3. It's no longer the fastest drag car in this gun. Oh god, this has bad handling. I didn't realise that. It's no longer the fastest car in this game. However, it has still got some pretty big speed to it with the V10 engine swap, not the V12. Although this one will set you back 125,000 credits from the auto show, it's very much worth getting because with the V10 engine swap, this is definitely one of the highest accelerating cars on this list. But in a straight line, it's certainly got some power behind it. Definitely worth getting this one on the list. The Dodge Dart for 125,000 credits will pull over 1,100 horsepower. I definitely recommend getting the Dodge Dart. Next one's a little bit of a strange one. It's the Transit Van Forza Edition. Now you may be wondering, you can't actually buy this Forza Edition from the auto show, but you can quite easily get this Transit Van Forza Edition from the auction house for between 100 and 300,000 credits. Fully upgraded, it will pull over 1,200 horsepower. Although it's not the fastest accelerating on the list, it's actually one of the slowest. It still does over 200 miles an hour. It still accelerates very quickly. And it's a van, so cheap, Forza Edition, it's a van, it's fast, why not? This one's one of my favourites, so I'd highly recommend getting this one. 1,200 horsepower, 100 to 300,000 credits, Forza Edition Transit Van is this one on the list. Now the next three are my favourite ones, so stick around for these last ones. This one is actually the Nissan GTR R35. This will cost you 105,000 credits in the auto show and will pull over 1,000 horsepower when fully upgraded. And along with that, you're getting an iconic car, the Nissan GTR. Everybody likes the Nissan GTR, some people hate it. But there's no denying it's still a very fast car in the game. For example, right now I'm doing nearly 250 miles an hour for the cost of only about 160 to 170,000 credits. 
You don't need to engine swap the GTR to get the full horsepower from it, but it costs 105k and you get a lot for that money. So on this is the Nissan GTR, 105,000 credits, 1,000 horsepower, very fast, very cool. Now the last one on the list before we get to a little bonus car is the Porsche 918. Now this is by far the fastest car on this list but also the most expensive. From the auto show this car costs 800,000 credits but on the auction house you can get it for a little bit cheaper than that. So for this car you could probably get it between 300 and 800,000 credits guaranteed. But you are getting 1,441 horsepower from that and also, believe it or not, the Porsche 918 does 0-60 to miles an hour faster than any other car in the game. I know lots of people will argue that it's actually the Dodge Demon, but trust me, it's not. If you time it with a real stopwatch, the Porsche 918 can do 0-60 to faster than every other car in the game fully upgraded. I'll do a quick 0-60 to here. That's 60, that was actually nearly 80, just in just over a second. The Dodge Demon cannot get near that. But regardless, it's still, it does nearly 260 miles an hour. I know it's one of the most expensive on the list, but compared to these cars that cost millions, this one's cheap and it's the fastest. So there's no reason to why you don't have the Porsche 918 in your garage fully upgraded because it's, it's definitely a different car and it's unexpectedly fast as well. So please guys, get this car. Now let's move on to a bonus car. Now boys, we have a bonus car here which I highly recommend you pay attention to and this is the new Mosler MT900S. This is one of the fastest cars on this list. It is one of the best handling cars in the game entirely. Possibly one of the best cars in the game in general, and I'm not joking with that. This car is unbelievable, and you can get it for free right now. For the next couple of days after this video has been released, you will be able to get this car for free. There's a video on my channel, if you have a look, it is called How to Get the New Mosler MT900S, and if you follow that for free, you can get this car into your garage. But... It's only going to be possible for the next couple of days. Fully upgraded with the stock engine and rear wheel drive. It grips like a madman. It handles like a madman. Apart from when you crash like that. I apologise. This is one of the cars that you seriously need to take advantage of getting. Because as of a couple of days from when this video is released. It's going to be impossible to get this car again. Apart from the auction house. Oh my god. The handling is too sensitive on this car. It cr I crash. I cannot believe how insane this car is. So yeah, you very well may be able to get this car from the auction house after it's unavailable, but I wouldn't keep your hopes up, so get it for free while you can. Go look at my recent video on my channel. So anyway guys, that is technically 11 cars that are really cheap and also really fast. I highly recommend you own all 10 in your garage. I have all 10 of them, obviously. And all 10 of them I pop into every now and then because they're so fun, they're unexpectedly fast and it's just a, it's just a, it's just a load of fun really. As I said, if you want any of these 10 tunes that you saw in today's video, add my gamer tag, go to load tune on any of the cars and I should be one of the first ones on the list as long as you have me added. I think that's how it works. If not, then search for it with the, um, with the creator, which you know what my gamer tag is anyway. But anyway ladies, hope you have enjoyed this 10 super cheap, super fast cars list i'm sure there's cars that i've missed out however these are definitely my 10 favorite ones that i enjoy to drive so please guys leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more forza horizon 4 content and i'll see you all in the next video no, 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 no.